Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, we've got some big drama brewing within the royal family. Word on the street is that Meghan Markle has been trying desperately to bond with King Charles now that the Queen has passed, but insiders say her efforts have been completely squashed by none other than Zara Tyndall. However, there does seem to be growing tension between certain members of the family, so this type of feud doesn't seem entirely outside the realm of possibility. With that said, let's get into what's allegedly been going down. According to sources close to the royal household, Meghan has been doing everything she can to gain favor with King Charles in the wake of becoming estranged from much of the family over the last couple years. We all know the bombshell Oprah interview caused quite a bit of turmoil, so Meghan seems keen to try and smooth things over now that her father-in-law is head of the monarchy. However, Charles is said to still harbor quite a bit of ill will towards his son Harry and daughter-in-law following their highly public criticism of the institution. So Meghan has supposedly been sending Charles flattering letters, trying to engage him in long phone calls to chat about current events and life in California, and has even made surprise visits to Buckingham Palace when traveling to London in hopes of bonding face-to-face. -face. But the insiders say Charles has shown little interest in truly patching things up, and it seems he's content keeping Meghan at arm's length for the time being. Where things get really juicy though is in how Zara Tyndall has reportedly been purposefully sabotaging Meghan's efforts this whole time. We all know Zara has always been one of the most down-to-earth, no-nonsense members of the royal family. She's not bothered by protocols or tradition. She just wants to live her life on her own terms. And sources say she can't stand Meghan's incessant brown-nosing of her Uncle Charles. Whenever Meghan has tried to arrange tea dates with the king or pop in for an impromptu chat, Zara has apparently swooped in to derail things. For example, there was one incident a few months back where Meghan showed up unannounced at Buckingham Palace, hoping to catch Charles for a catch-up. But just as she was sitting down in the sitting room with a pot of herbal tea, Zara barged in and announced that she and Charles were actually just on their way out for a spot of polo. She then ushered the clearly irritated king right out the door before Meghan could get a word in. According to onlookers, Charles didn't even acknowledge Meghan's presence and just smiled and waved as Zara steered him to the awaiting Range Rover. In another alleged instance, Meghan had suggested a tea date with Charles over the phone and was emailing his assistant to firm up details. But sources say Zara somehow got wind of the plans and swooped in yet again, this time inviting Charles on a last-minute, pheasant-hunting trip that same afternoon at their Gloucestershire estate. Being an avid hunter, Charles couldn't refuse the impromptu plans with his fun-loving niece. And just like that, Meghan was ghosted at the last minute with no explanation from the king himself. Insiders say Zara takes any opportunity she can to insert herself between Meghan and Charles. If Meghan calls the palace, Zara will find some way to interrupt the chat within minutes. If Meghan pops by for a visit, Zara will invite Charles on an outing to ensure he's conveniently unavailable. She even went so far as to bring her three kids around to Buckingham a bunch over the summer holidays, just to keep Charles preoccupied with family bonding of his own choosing. Sources say she wanted to make it crystal clear to Meghan that she's not a welcome part of their inner circle. Now it seems Zara's latest move to SDYMY Meghan charade was her biggest power play yet. Word is that earlier this month, Meghan had managed to schedule high tea with Charles at Clarence House after weeks of trying. No doubt she saw it as a prime opportunity to try and charm the king one-on-one, -on -one, without any interference. But unbeknownst to the duo, Zara had gotten wind of their plans yet again and cooked up a cunning ruse to insert herself. On the day of the scheduled tea, Zara showed up at Clarence's house with Mike and the kids in tow, pretending like they had all just finished an impromptu polo match nearby and wanted to stop by to say hi, only to then announce that poor Mike had taken a nasty tumble from his pony and thought he might have broken his ankle. Of course, doting Charles couldn't turn his back on family in need so he rushed everyone into the sitting room to tend to Mike, canceling the tea in the process. Sources say Zara was all bravado as she helped hobble Mike in, ensuring he let out the most dramatic pained moans just to sell the performance. And poor Megan stood by helplessly, watching in disbelief as her carefully crafted royal bonding plans went up in smoke yet again thanks to Zara's meddling ways. One insider says Megan was fuming mad but had to plaster on a fake smile not wanting to cause a scene in front of the family. She politely offered to reschedule before making a hasty exit, no doubt seething inside the whole drive back to Windsor. 
It seems the final straw for Megan came a few days later when she called Charles's office to try rescheduling their canceled tea, only to be told the king had suddenly jetted off to Scotland the very next day for an entire month-long hunting trip, with Zara, of course. At this point sources say Megan was ready to explode, realizing Zara had outmaneuvered her at every turn just to thwart her attempts at closeness with Charles. It's said she confronted Harry in a raging fit, convinced Zara was purposely sabotaging any possible reconciliation with that side of the family going forward. And here's where the story gets really juicy. Apparently Megan decided if Zara wanted a battle, then a battle is what she would get. In a shocking display, she showed up uninvited to the Queen's annual Christmas luncheon just two weeks ago, knowing full well the entire Windsor clan would be in attendance, including Zara. Eyewitnesses say she strutted confidently into the royal residence, head held high as if daring anyone to question her presence. But she had not counted on Zara having the guts to confront her head on. Indeed, sources reveal that as soon as Zara spotted her arch nemesis across the room, she marched straight over with intent. There was then a very heated exchange where Zara unabashedly called Megan out for continuing to intrude on family affairs when she's clearly not wanted. She told Megan to get the message that her constant attempts at manipulation will not be tolerated. And she warned that next time she disrupts precious family time with the king, there would be consequences far worse than a few missed tea dates. And in a shocking display of nerve, Zara then promptly kicked Megan out of the gathering, grabbing her forcefully by the arm and marching her right back out the door, ignoring Megan's loud complaints and protests every step of the way. Guests watched in stunned silence as Zara tossed Megan unceremoniously onto the front stoop, slamming the door behind her for good measure. To this day, sources say it remains the most dramatic confrontation that side of the royal family has ever witnessed. Unsurprisingly, Megan and Zara have not been in contact since. Now folks, while there are certainly two sides to every story, I find the evidence quite compelling that there is definitely no love lost between Megan and Zara. Their personalities certainly seem at odds, with one being more subversive while the other refuses to conform to rules. And it's easy to see why Zara would want to protect Charles from further family drama, after all the queen put him through. At the same time, Meghan does deserve a chance at redeeming herself if she's sincere. So hardball tactics may not be the best approach long-term for family unity. In any case, something tells me this bitter rivalry is far from over. With tensions running high, there is surely more fallout to come. We'll have to stay tuned to see what bombshells get dropped next in this ongoing Windsor War of Wills. In the meantime, I want to know, whose side are you on in this beef, Team Zara or Team Megan? Sound off in the comments and let me know your thoughts.